Mr. Rutan. You've had a lot of experience designing planes. Could you please show us one of your unique designs? Oh, sure. I love to talk about airplanes. I've designed some 28 different manned airplanes and also some unmanned airplanes. Uh, one of my favorites is a boomerang that I'm sitting in. It is a very safe, uh, long-range, light twin airplane, and it's the airplane that I fly nowadays. Behind me is the Proteus, a high-altitude airplane that's used for special missions. Uh, probably my most famous airplane, though, is the Voyager. The Voyager, about 16 years ago, took off at one airport and flew completely around the world, taking some nine days and landed at the same airport without refueling. And that set a milestone in aviation. Do you have to use your imagination to design these planes? Oh yes, uh, imagination is extremely important because with an airplane you can look at birds, you can look at other airplanes, but if you're going to do anything truly new, you have to create, you have to innovate, and you have to imagine. Here we are in the office, and this is where airplanes are designed. Um, it starts with a sketch, and a sketch comes from the mind, it comes from, really from your imagination. You imagine what might fly well, and you think about it real hard, and you take a pencil to a piece of paper, and you put on a piece of paper the creative thoughts that are in your mind. And that's what imagination is really all about. Can you show us the Proteus? Okay, this is Proteus. Pretty big airplane. It's designed to do some very interesting things. It can fly very high. It can fly more than 10 miles high. So it's up above where the airliners fly, and it can stay up there a long time. And that's very useful for doing things like studying the atmosphere, or relaying internet data, that sort of thing. So let's take a look at it. Even though this is a very big airplane, with a wingspan of about 90 feet, it's actually quite light. It only weighs as much as two cars. But if you fill it up with fuel, it weighs as much as four cars. The wings are very long and slender and very smooth, and that's necessary so the airplane can fly a long time. The wings are filled with fuel, and the fuel drains down and is pumped up to jet engines. And jet engines is what makes the thrust that makes the airplane climb, makes it fly, makes it stay up there. And thrust is a very, very important thing for airplanes and thrust will help you win this contest.